for a break, uh, we realized something that I share a birthday with someone very special. And I, I am so excited. I know that this is one wonderful, wonderful, wonderful thing. Now, we will sort that when we come back. So now, I want us to go to the next section of this uh, program. I hope that you are enjoying your learning from all of this. I hope that uh, you're being edified and there's something that you're getting out of this from their experience. And I know that they are the right people to talk about this topic at this moment because they're in this generation and they have transitioned into parenthood. So now I want us to bring it back. We have talked of the good times. We have talked of uh, the excitement and, and uh, everything. And all this has happened. Mm -hmm. And now we have gotten to that point where we have accepted that we are pregnant. There's a, there's a difference between mm -hmm. We are pregnant, mm. yes. and now we have accepted we are pregnant. Mm. As you for you for you is a different case because you you accepted Kitambo, <laughs> <laughs> but for you now it is a process mm. of processing. How did this? As he has said that uh, it brought you closer because he became your servant at one point, and and he enjoyed doing that. How did that bring you to closer to one another, apart from vulnerability? How did it bring you closer? Because most of the people say that during pregnancy is when uh, the diversion begins. For most people, it is when the diversion begins. Mm. Because the man feels uh, you're becoming a bit too much. This, there are things that you're asking for that I, I cannot afford. <laughs> you're asking me for cold water in the middle of the night and you do not have a fridge. Mm. <laughs> or you're asking for ice cream. In, in, and you know our no financial situation, mm -hmm. in, you know. Yeah. So how did that bring you closer? Wow. I love the fact that you've said there is that bit of accepting. Mm. Accepting, first accepting your status. Yes. For me, I, I began just putting, getting it into myself that now I'm pregnant. Life is not the same again. Mm. And from that point, I know the needs, the needs arose and I tried to talk to my husband at some point, but I don't know, but I think there was just that grace that God gave me. Grace and that love for him that made me understand him all along. So sometimes, I don't know, but we found ourselves bonding more and more because I used to sometimes small things, <laughs> you know, you know, when I'm talking about the house and being husband and all the things you would, when you, when you come in together and you are just newly married, you find yourself maybe some things just pissing you off. Definitely. Yeah, small, small things. I don't know what happened to me. I just cooled down from all of us. I, wow. Those small things that used to piss me off, they wow. no longer pissed me off. Wow. That's the, that's where our journey began. Mm. And I me and and I think it gave peace also to my husband wow. in some way, and he felt the love. Mm -hmm. And when he showered me with love, I continued being blinded. <laughs> so, more and more. Yeah, more and more mm -hmm. blinded. Mm -hmm. And we bonded together, we had good time together. Mm -hmm. And I think there's one thing he didn't say. The times we will come from church here after service, mm -hmm. and we will go, there's a field down uh, here. Aga Khan walk. Aga Khan walk. Mm -hmm. We will stay there get, just gazing at the children who wow. are skating. And we are saying one day, be parents oh, mm. one day our our boy or girl will be skating mm. here mm. we will just when and we're there doing nothing for three wow. hours wow some things we ne never used to do before mm. for me one of my love language is that quality time mm. so he gave me the quality time wow and i felt like i have everything i needed mm. though the things which were missing but i did not see them mm. because because he gave you what you expected yes he gave me what i was expecting wow. at that time wow. and i missed before <laughs> <laughs> yes, 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 I missed that before. Yeah. Mm. Yes. So, death is like a can work. Things shifted. <laughs> Things changed. Yes. And 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 for you, how was how was that process? Because I believe that sometimes she asked for things that uh, were not very possible, uh, heavenly or earthly possible. Mm. But you would go that extra mile yes. for her and make sure that she's safe. She's she's fine she's she's enjoying so for you how was the process how was it just just uh because as much as yes you are accepted it it took a process yes. just to get to to the child now the child is born yes for you how was it the process
I not lie to you at the beginning mm. uh, the way she says you know because of the hormonal imbalance and the changes mm. of course uh, the way she would uh, request for some things will come out as offensive mm. but I go to a place then I realized hey uh, this is my wife this is our baby we are expecting mm. the things that are happening as changes are things that are just normal sure. So I really pray to God, I'll not lie to you. If it was from my own effort, mm. I would not have pushed through to the very end. But mm. I pray to God to give me grace. Mm. And I think that's what men need to understand, that in the period of expecting, mm -hmm. there are a lot of changes that happen, especially in the woman's body mm. and the mother's body. Sure. So if you don't understand what is happening, mm. it is easier for you to always be, like you're Offended. always flipping, you're mm. always flipping because mm. she wakes you up in the night, she tells you, I feel like taking ice cream. So what do you do? Will you now stand there and shout or mm. say it's okay? Mm. Uh, we, we cannot maybe get it, but uh, I'll get it for you. Mm. So I had to really make sure that uh, I pray to God to give me that grace. And that I think that grace is what led me to now do the acts of service. Wow. Because even apart from the massages, I used mm. to sometimes clean the house. I used to cook for her sometimes. Wash utensils. I used to wash utensils. Wow. There are times when I used to now wash even our clothes because mm. by then we were just the two of us in the wow. house. Wow. So I didn't take it as a burden, uh -huh. but I took it as something to really express my love to her uh -huh. and uh, to make her feel at ease. Because I think that's the, 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 the best thing you can give to your wife who is expecting. Just the peace of mind to know that even though I'm not able to do this and that, uh -huh. that there's someone who is taking care of the things that I can't handle. Uh -huh. Even though I know she, she loves doing those things. Uh -huh. But in that period, you know, she, she will get tired often she will feel drowsy, mm. feel dizzy, all often feel sleepy, mm. often feel hungry. Mm. So you have to be at a place of being able to exercise grace. And I think it reminds me of this Bible verse uh, that talks about uh, husbands loving our wives. Mm. I think mm. it's in Ephesians. Yes. Loving our wives as Christ loved the church. Mm. And if you look at that situation, it is a very conducive environment for you to flip, to sure. get out of love. Sure. But if you choose and purpose to actually walk in obedience to scripture mm. and take yourself out of the picture like she's not she's doing this to offend me mm. but let me do this and that for her out of love from mm. a place of love out of the understanding of obedience mm. then it becomes easier it becomes easier to show love it becomes easier to serve it becomes easier to put yourself in a place of yes you are the husband yes you are the head of the home but you're also a servant mm not just to her now, but even to the baby who is coming. Mm -hmm. Because the question will be, say for example, the day comes that uh, they remain with the, the baby alone, mm -hmm. and the baby is now big, then the baby asks the mother, by the how was the day when uh, mm -hmm. I came into the picture or what you were expecting? Mm -hmm. Then the mother will say, he was nowhere to be seen. <laughs> I think it will really <laughs> tarnish, uh, uh, yeah, paint a bad picture. Mm -hmm. But if you choose, especially as born again brothers, and born again fathers, if you choose to intentionally walk in obedience mm. to the scriptures, in loving our wives, despite the weaknesses, despite the changes that will come during pregnancies, mm. it makes the, the journey easier. So wow. for me, I enjoyed, wow. I enjoyed because I, I decided to lay every burden, mm. so to say, mm. at the foot of the cross and wow. tell Christ, <laughs> right. give me the grace, let me love her. Mm. And in those periods, we didn't have uh, like a lot of money that's why she'll tell you mm. those little pleasures you know you, you and it's an encouragement to fathers out there you mm. might not have resources you might not have the money mm. but the little things you do mm. can really give you peace and happiness right. she used to love watching those children skating at aga Khan walk mm. it used to give her joy so we'll leave the church straight from the service just <laughs> to aga Khan walk and just sit to watch she just watch the children just watch. Three and she'll be happy wow patiently she will be happy three hours. and you yes. know it <laughs> <laughs> then you get back home, the foot as well, you just massage. Yeah, you just massage. <laughs> again. 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 And you, you have not eaten. <laughs> and you have not eaten. That part. It was, <laughs> that was, but it was interesting. <laughs> it was I think interesting. you have brought up something that is very important. Yeah. That most people have not uh, put emphasis on. The, the fact that you speak her language, her love language. Mm. Uh, most of the times, like that quality time that you gave to her, most of the people will think that I have to buy her flowers, I have to 
take her out for expensive dinners mm. so now i don't want her to get pregnant lest she asks for <laughs> 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 so it is very important for mm. especially husbands mm. to understand their wife's love language mm. so that they give it to them mm. if it is acts of service just mm. that washing of utensils mm -hmm. is is enough yeah. to tell her that yes i value you this much mm. that yes i will come out of the office and come home yes umeshinda kwa nyumba <laughs> but i will still do the dishes i will still make the dinner mm. because this is the way i show you how i love you mm. i will not bring so much mm. i will not buy you dresses for every mm -hmm. other time you are going mm -hmm. out but for this one i will do this I will do what I am able to do. So for husbands out there, it is very important for you to understand your wife's love language and speak yeah. that yes. when she is vulnerable because she, they are always vulnerable mm -hmm. at that <laughs> time. So please, Mr. Husband out there, please, 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 just understand the language uh, and speak it. It is not hard. It is just a Simple. matter of of submitting one to another even the bible commands yes. us mm. submit one to another mm. yes. and and that is it mm. Mm. so now i want us to bring it uh, alisema hako faint watch us sister <laughs> let us get it first hand let us get it first you will cut it i know you will cut it at one point yes. but when now it was time mm -hmm. now here is the baby mm -hmm. everything is now happening mm -hmm. and and the baby is almost here mm -hmm. How was his reaction? It was here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, uh, I remember that morning. My husband, in fact, uh, we went in the evening. Mm. So my husband had to sleep eh, yeah, outside. On the benches. <laughs> on the wow. benches. Yes. Eh, waiting. <laughs> <laughs> waiting for the baby waiting to come. Baby. Uh, and we had not told anyone mm. except uh, some of our very close friends that very close mm. very who are praying with us yes we we just chose a few brethren who are praying with us mm. specifically praying not yes, just anyone not just, so uh, close uh, and praying mm. so we told them that we have gone to the hospital and we're expecting a baby mm. so when we went there i was told that um i should wait mm. so i didn't know the time the baby will come because the pain was mild wow. it wasn't like the one that is alarming mm. that i need mm. to now go to the maybe yes. the theater or mm. the maternity room or the labor mm. labor ward mm. or something like that so i was just told to wait so my husband had to sleep on the benches waiting for the baby so the next day in the morning because he was tired he asked to leave and go and refresh it up at least yes mm. so he left and when he left now that's when the drama began <laughs> He was saved yeah. by Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was not completely saved. He, he was uh, partially saved. Partially. Yes. Okay. So the drama began there because now um, <clears throat> for me my story is different. I didn't uh, I was induced. Mm -hmm. So you know after induction anything happens mm -hmm. and I was induced when he was away. Wow. <clears throat> so that's when I began feeling the pain and all these things but it came before I had delivered. Mm -hmm. And when he came and found me on the bed No, I wasn't on the bed. I was sitting on the bed, sitting, standing, sleeping. Yeah, I was, everywhere. Oh, <laughs> I was <Yeah>. everywhere. <laughs> My husband was confused. I must not lie. He was confused. <laughs> okay, and I also had expectation at that point. Mm. I, I used to hear when when other other women are explaining their mm. journey, mm. they would say that my husband was i don't know doing what rubbing, rubbing me. me on my back and stuff. So he was having expectation that my husband knows uh, that he should things. he should be rubbing me. <laughs> so. <laughs> When the pain comes, I'm like, baby, the pain is here. And he's like looking at me. No, what he's I very sorry. <laughs> Doing nothing. Very sorry. So I would feel so frustrated. Mm. Now the pain is there, but I'm like, what's wrong with this man? <laughs> and I can't, I could not speak out. Like, mm. That's why there's need for men who are expectant. Mm. <laughs> if, expectant, if yes, they, please, they need to be told something. Oh, yes. Because mm. baby, that's one of the things he has never known. Mm. I'm saying it here because he has never known. Mm. But that's know. one of the expectation which... One of one of the expectation I had mm. that was not met. Mm. I don't know whether it's true that the pain disappears when someone is rubbed, but I go, I didn't get that opportunity to be rubbed so that I can tell <laughs> whether the pain disappears or not. <laughs> no, no, so maybe no, 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 no. next round we can exercise that yes. and see whether whether yes. it works. Eh? Mm. But the pain was so intense, mm. and I thank God when I was taken to the theater, he was there. Mm. The decision was made that I'm supposed to go to the theater, mm. and he was there. So he left me for a while. And well, 
I think I've spoken everything. <laughs> <laughs> he came back he came knowing back. that the, the baby has back. arrived here. Yeah. When, when, when she was uh, doing all that everywhere, mm -hmm. sleeping, standing, walking, rolling, rolling. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine rolling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you roll under the bed, then you come out. Then you, you bend, you stand, because you don't understand what can make the pain disappear. Exactly. So you try everything. Mm. Wow. So for me, I tried to sleep on the floor. I saw it, it didn't work. I tried to roll. No, I tried to come. I tried to sit, to stand. All of them are not working. <laughs> Nothing is I tried to sit thing. next to my husband. <laughs> <laughs> he was helpless. <laughs> he was he's confused. Yeah, <laughs> Until the nurses came to my rescue. <laughs> huh. Yeah. So for you, now all this is happening and uh, you are there and you know men are, are wired to give solutions yes and this one you do not have a solution yes. uh, not unless you tell us you had a solution <laughs> i don't know but for this one most men do not have a solution you cannot take the pain away <laughs> if you could i believe that you would mm. you cannot uh, tell her that it is it is well because it is not, <laughs> it well. Is not, well. not well it is not well yeah. so for you what was going through your mind in this moment confusion <laughs> <laughs> there was a lot of confusion. Speechless. Mm. I was speechless. <laughs> and then, you know, the way you say, so for men, we are wired to give <laughs> solutions. Mm. So at this particular point, you mm. have no solution to offer. Yes. You know that this pain she is experiencing, it is only how you can experience. You mm. wish you could take a portion of the pain so exactly. that the two of you can roll on the ground. <laughs> you know, if it is screaming, if it is crying, the two of you can do that. Yes. But at that point, it is only her. Mm. And then that, that uh, actually, the thing about rubbing the back, mm. I think I had it some time back, but then I think because of the confusion and everything that was it happening, it would not register. It just disappeared. I think it evaporated <laughs> from my mind. I was like, I just wish I could do something, so I would only hold her leg and tell mm. her it's okay, it's okay. But mm. for her, she she's but crying. But that leg will not stay in the same position. The leg will not stay in the same position. <laughs> so a lot of things were happening. I think a lot of uh, confusion. Mm. So. At that point, there's a lot of confusion that happens in the mind of the man. Mm. That's what I can say. Mm. You can't. I will not lie to you that I was calm. I was. I was not calm. Mm. I was seated there, but in my mind, you the high emotions were also <laughs> running in my mind. You also rolling. I was also rolling in my mind. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Wow, wow, and I and I believe it is. It is not a, a very interesting place to be, especially now for the man. You know, you you feel the 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 physical pain, yeah. but for us we feel the emotional pain because yeah. we we don't know how to solve this thing. Yeah. You know, and and most of the times most men actually go back now to their caves and they have nothing to say. They in just, fact, mm -hmm. in fact, I hear yes, most it. men opt to just go and sit outside. Yes. until they hear the baby cry. Yes, it's only now, those that who, is are, when you're... who are a bit strong that opt to just hang around. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> because See I've had cases where the, the stories get intense. The man was slapped by the wife. Exactly. <laughs> the wife she was held like this. You are responsible <laughs> for this pain. But uh, for me, I didn't experience that. Mm. I thank God that when I was there, even, even though I, I did not know that uh, she was expecting me to rub her back, she didn't speak badly. She was just uh, there. I think she just chose to tolerate me as she tries to give me the pain. Wow. But the next one we shall uh, we shall yeah. revisit. We shall revisit. <laughs> we shall revisit. Please. Now, 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 let us let us come back now to the baby is now born. Yes. She is home. You are out of the hospital. Now you are home. Mm -hmm. For you as a mother, what are some of the things? I know that you were told so many things during the baby shower. Mm -hmm. Maybe mm -hmm. some older women took their time to just explain to you uh, what are some of the things you expect and maybe you had learned through videos through through facebook mm -hmm. nowadays we have dr facebook dr mm -hmm. google mm -hmm. uh, then you have learned a lot what are some of the things that you wish you knew mm -hmm. before you brought her home mm -hmm. in the process of bringing her up she's now how old one year one year mm -hmm. so now what are some of the things that you wish you would have known for the one year before you brought her to this world if you knew those you would have done something different well i think uh for me i thought like i can walk alone <laughs> i think i've been alone now for the my pregnancy somehow i found myself walking alone mm. i would not want to see people to interact with people in fact i used to shy off Mm. opposite of what other people do when you're pregnant you want to walk around and mm. you want people to see your tummy mm. growing mm. mine i didn't like it i didn't like that uh, my husband calls it uh, what do you call it <laughs> mm. 
when people when you're walking before people and you want people to see you the way you dress the way you do what attention yeah that attention mm. i i didn't like the attention mm. so so i avoided people yes. and i think that is one of the things i would not advise anyone because yeah. i i try to i try to think that things which i would have learned mm. along the way in the journey of pregnancy mm. from other women who had <clears throat> had gone before me mm. but for me it was a last minute thing when now women came mm. now they, <laughs> now they, now they gathered yeah mm. it was like uh, i was hearing like everything for the first time because mm. mm. i had never gone from uh, to other baby showers where i could hear such things like do like this carry the baby like this and i never used to like babies funny that's funny enough mm. eh? i never used to like babies I never used oh. to like, okay, the way they would cry. Mm. I was this one person who could not them. leave me with mm. your baby. Wow. And it's not something that is in me. Mm. I mean, I just found myself, I had no interest. Mm -hmm. So mine was a first-hand uh, <laughs> experience. Now you're experiencing yes. for the first time. And now time. I have to recall what did these women told, uh, tell me all along. Mm. You know, wow. and it was so hard. So I won't advise anyone to walk alone in the journey of pregnancy. It is very important to just walk with people. Yes. So if you're out there and you're watching and maybe you're pregnant or you desire to get pregnant or maybe you're just about to get your child, it is not good to walk alone. Mm. It is important to just learn from one another. Mm. Get people that are out there who maybe have gotten kids or are professionals in some of these things mm. so that they just en en encourage, encourage you and you. teach you some mm. of the things that you need to look out for yes. and some of the things that you need to do. Mm. So for you, Ian, uh, what are some of the things you wish you knew before you got baby home but for me i think i think it's the same thing for her. that's one thing i think we came to realize that uh, the biggest gap we had was uh, people to work with mm. who have gone before us mm. in the same journey because sometimes you know when the baby for example cries at night uh, for mothers they normally have that uh, i think it's the sixth sense yes. where they can tell you this is hunger uh, this maybe is the, the baby needs a diaper change mm. maybe the baby has some irritation somewhere mm. For men, you are blank. Kilioyote in a fanana. Kilioyote in a fanana. <laughs> and then she will even, in fact, she has not mentioned, but she will tell you for the times that we were together with the baby when she was young, mm -hmm. even the baby crying at night, I will not hear because when I sleep, mm -hmm. I am a heavy sleeper. We need to speak about that. I am a heavy He is a heavy sleeper. I am a heavy sleeper. <laughs> we need to speak about that. We cannot leave that one. <laughs> my husband would not wake up. Mm. The baby would cry and scream. Mm. And I would wait for my husband to even wake up and tell me, baby, let me just help you mm. carry the baby. He did not even hear. He did night. not even hear. For, for and sure. then he, he tells me when, when, when it's in the morning and I'm mad and I'm mm. thinking like, Ali Kaucha, you know. Mm. He, tells me, she, he tells me that um, uh, he did not hear. Most of the time, it's no longer. And then he tells me, story. please, and if you have to wake me up, wake me up with love. <laughs> Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> I'm, I think I feel like slapping someone. Because <laughs> I need help, up. I'm tired. Mm. I need help, and we are the two of us. Mm. But let him, let, me, let him just continue yeah. speaking. So it, it was not intentional. <laughs> it was but not some it. of these things, when you have people who can, like, tell you, for example, if, say, for example, the baby is crying at night, mm. maybe try and do this and that of course apart from <laughs> expecting the wife to wake you up yes but if you have people whom you have surrounded yourself with who have gone before you in the journey mm. it is easier for you to walk knowing at this point if this happens you can do this mm. but when you're blank when things happen you have moments of panic mm. Mm. or you don't know what is supposed to happen there were times when our little girl would be will have a high fever at night mm. Then you know you think you can do what you you know you normally do with the adults, just uh, maybe pour cold water. But you see, for them they have they have the only way of cooling temperatures. Take off some clothes, mm. put maybe a a, a wet uh, towel and mm. whatnot. Mm. So it will also be, I think, a, a point to maybe share with others that, like you have said, just mm. get people to work with, mm. people whom you know are sober. People mm. whom you honor, mm -hmm. people whom you feel can really offer you guidance mm. in the area of parenting. Mm. Because there are a lot of things that arise. Mm. So when you have gaps, it is really difficult for you to handle them the way you would uh, be expected to handle. True. You would panic, maybe you will react in a way that was not expected to be mm. uh, done. But uh, just get people to work with. Mm. I think that for me was the biggest lesson. I wish I had known that. Right now we have a, we have some friends whom we are surrounded with. There's a couple whom stay near us, mm -hmm. 
uh, who also are sisters in mm. that area. Wow. Mm. So there's this the easing of that burden Bad. and pressure mm. Mm. that when this happens, we know we can just give a phone call mm. and they'll tell you, ah, if it is this, maybe just try this. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Now, time has really gone. <laughs> we, we want to wrap up the show and I want to give you a chance to just speak to families out there. You will speak to both the men mm. and the women mm -hmm. that are out there. Some of them are pregnant. Some of them are expectant. Some of them desire to be expectant. Mm -hmm. And some of them have those little children. Just speak <coughs> your heart to them mm -hmm. because you have been through it. You mm -hmm. have transitioned. And, and just, just pour it out to them. Okay. Uh, I'll begin with the same scripture that my husband said. That is from, I think, uh, Psalms 127, 27. verse 3. That says that um, children are a heritage of the Lord. The fruit of the womb is a gift from above. Mm. So we'll begin from there. I'll, I want to anchor my thought from mm. there. That the children we have, they are a gift from God. It's God who has given us. It's not our doing. It's from the Lord. So for anyone outside there, men or women ex expecting or trusting God for a child, our God, the one who visited us, will also visit you. Number two, for those outside there who already have the fruit of their womb, there's something I've learned all, all along in this first year of parenting, that when you're parenting, there are things that you need to trust God to give you. That is the shield of faith, faith that in the midst of everything that God will help you through, that the word of God stands to be true. The shield of faith, you need to have patience. You need to have, have love. And you also need to trust in the Lord, the giver of the gift, trust in him in the journey, just trusting and in flowing with him in the journey. So <clears throat> without adding more mm. or watering that, let me leave it wow. there. Wow, yes. wow. Wow, I, I hope that you have gotten something because for me, I have learned a lot of things. And as we always say for marriage and bliss, it is always a learning experience mm -hmm. that we learn together. That today we have learned that in that moment when you are transitioning into parenthood, mm -hmm. it is important that you have people to work with. It is important that you have a couple friends, people that have gone before you, the people that have experience yeah. to just walk you through yeah. and tell you these are the things that you expect these are the things that you need to work on this is what you will see this is what you will not see and and maybe more more to that just stick together as a couple that is what we have learned from yeah. you yes, that yes. As, even as as we are working with other people yeah. that we stick together and i think most men out there ian has said it become a servant Mm -hmm. Even when you are confused and you don't know what will happen, just become a servant. And today, men, we have known Kurab, Apanyuma, Kwamgongo. I am not sure it works, but we are going to sure try. To. We will revisit. I think we will call you back after number two. Yes. To just know if he did it. Eh? <laughs> to know if he did it. So thank you very much for watching today. I hope that you have learned something. I know that we will continue communicating. Just continue uh, giving to us your feedback, giving to us your comments and, and everything that you want to say to us. If you need counseling, if you need someone to talk to, our numbers are on your screen. Mm -hmm. Or you can reach us on our social media platforms at Elevate. TV Kenya uh, at Marriage and Bliss and I know that you will continue learning together. So thank you very much guys for coming. We know thank that you. we will have you again uh, you very soon. Us. So thank, thank you very much you. and God bless you. Keep it Elevate TV Advancing Kingdom Lifestyle. Until next week, same time, same place, do not touch that dial. <laughs>